Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing this evening? It is 8.02 p.m. And I'm vlogging early. And I'm gonna vlog for a short period of time because I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna go to bed for the night. Um, it has not been a good day. I, uh, and I'm like in excruciating pain, but to be honest with you, when I sit down, I feel so much better. It's like just in my thigh and my lower back, the back pain, that I can sit comfortably. If, I, am I, if I'm at home and I sit down like on a couch, I'm comfortable, um, but it's when I get up and I start moving around. I can't walk unless I am leaning on something. Um, and, well, let me tell you what happened. So, this morning I got up, 8 o'clock, 8.30, something like that, to move my car because Alex had to leave for work. And I was fine. I, like, relaxed last night, you know, rested my leg, like, rested my, my back. It didn't hurt that bad. I need some kind of lip balm or something. Um, I mean, it hurt, but like when I was laying down, it didn't hurt. And so, I got up this morning to move my car, and it still hurt, but it didn't take me as long to like, like it's a real, <laughs> I've really minimized how bad this is, you guys. Um, you know, I talked to my dad on the phone today, and I said, Dad, I have like a really high threshold for pain, and I, what is this stupid lip balm? I said, I have a really high threshold for pain, and I said, you know, like, once I get up and I get moving around, I'm much better. You know, and the thing is this, too, is that, like, I was raised, like, my mom would let me call in sick to school whenever I wanted. She just didn't want to fight me on it, because I hated going to school. But my dad would not, and... Whenever I would ask my dad to call me in sick for school, he would always say, who calls me in sick for surgery? You know, people are relying on me to come in. He was like, you know, unless you're absolutely like deathly ill, you're going to school. Like that was my dad's attitude when I was growing up because he knew I was faking it. Um, so I think I just kind of, oh, what a beautiful house. I think I just kind of embraced that over time. Like you get up and you start feeling better and if you can like push through the pain then you get your stuff done and I had like all these videos I wanted to make today I had this collab that I was doing with this other review channel Mel's and Chris that I was like I'm doing I mean, we were supposed to post it at 5 p.m. today and I was like I'm posting I mean I promised them I would post this today at 5 p.m. I was like I'm posting this today like I'm doing this like I was really excited about it and um so I was so tired. Like, I'm not sleeping well, but like, I was able to rest a little bit last night, and so, like, I wanted to keep on sleeping. So, when I, I got up today, it's like a real chore to put on my shorts. That's what I was gonna say. Like, to even get into like these champion sweat shorts is like, I put one leg in, and then I have to like, it's like a very conscious effort to like hold the pants out and put my other leg in because this leg, my left leg, is in so much pain. And last night, it was kind of like my shins and my upper, um, like my lower back and kind of my, like the top of my butt. So I was like, okay, I'm feeling a bit better. I'm gonna go back to sleep for a while. And so I set the alarm for like one. Got up at one, was just laying there. Didn't think anything about it rolled over, like, kind of, like, turned to the side and, like, hit the snooze button. Finally, I was like, okay, I need to get up and start my day. And, like, physically, I felt really rested. I was like, oh, I feel really good. Like, I was laying there, and I was like, okay, I feel rested. I, like, I got a lot of sleep. And so, I went to go sit up, and as soon as I, like, started sitting up, I mean, literally, I like I went up and I went back down right like in, in a second, and I was like, I had this just shooting, shearing pain 
that came from my back all the way down my leg. I started bawling immediately and screaming. I've never, I don't know that I've ever felt a pain like that before in my entire life. And I've had some pretty serious, like, injuries, you know? I don't know that I've ever felt pain like that. And it was like, it, can, it was throbbing pain. It kept on happening. So it wasn't like it just happened and then it went away. Like, it kept on going and going. And the thing was, is that I was like halfway off the bed because I was trying to stand up. So I'm conscious that I'm like falling on the floor, okay? And the dogs are barking and they're looking at me and like, they looked scared. Like they didn't know what was, I mean, I was like, I mean, I was screaming, like guttural screams of pain. And um, so I laid back down, but then where, however I laid, whatever way, like to turn any way was so painful that I just scream it again. I was just like, I was literally sobbing. So I, fi I finally, <laughs> I'm like in my head because literally I just came out to vlog and on the heels of that, um, I ran into this girl in our neighborhood this girl that's in high school, she's real sweet. She's also friends with um, my friend Aaron's daughter. And she was like standing on the side of the road with her car. And there was like this dog running around, this gorgeous golden doodle. And she was like, and so I went over there and she was like, um, I can't, I can't get this dog, but I've seen this dog lost a lot in this neighborhood. Like it's been lost before. And um, the dog was real friendly beautiful dog and so she's like I don't know what to do and she was so we were I, I said I can help you but I said I can't walk like I can't walk so I'm like walking down the length of the cart holding on the cart she's like you're like in a lot of pain I'm like oh I'm so I'm like trying to help her and we're like looking at this tag on the dog there's nobody looking for this dog outside and the tag said that the dog's like vet was in another city and I'm like which is now closed you know and so, and it was like worn down. You could hardly see the tag on the dog. Like it was like all rubbed down. So I called Melissa, cause Melissa, you know, does all this dog rescue stuff. And I said, I don't know what to do. Melissa's really big about microchipping your dogs. And so she said, she's gonna have to take it to the emergency vet clinic and see if um, it's been microchipped. They're gonna have to scan it. So that was just a half an hour before I got in the car to, well, I was on my way to go vlog and that's what happened. I stopped and was talking to her. And so I might run over there and see if she's at the emergency clinic, which is like 20 minutes from here. But so anyway, so I'm like in my head, like worried about this dog. So I'm like, lay, I mean, you guys, I don't even know how to explain it. I'm like laying like, just like, I felt honestly, like I felt like my leg was paralyzed. And I started like, of course, freaking in my head. I'm like, I'm never gonna move again. I'm never gonna walk again. Like, I mean, I just, it was so painful. It's like right now, it's like throbbing pain. And I almost was just gonna skip vlogging tonight, but like sitting in my car, like I get comfortable. Like it's painful in my leg and in the top of my butt right now, but I'm not like in excruciating pain. But if I was to step outside of this car, I mean, I would, I would, I, it, it's bad. So, like it feels pretty normal right now. So I, um, I'm laying there and I'm crying and I don't know what to do. And so I literally laid in bed and like if I turned to the left, it was shooting pain. If I turned to the right, it was shooting pain because I was gonna try to like back up and stand. So, and I'm, you know, <laughs> completely naked while this is happening. And so I grab my phone because I'm like, if you fall on the floor and you can't get up, at least you have your phone, you know? So I grabbed my phone and I was like, you're just gonna have to push through the pain. You're just gonna have to push through the pain and stand up. Um, <laughs> I had, to, because I had to go to the bathroom too, like that was the other problem. And I was like, I am not like <laughs> peeing myself sitting here. I mean, it sounds funny, but it's not like, <laughs> You know, I said this in my review video today. I've known so many people that have had like chronic pain. I, I mean, I know a lot of people, you know, in my life that have had chronic pain. 
So you don't really truly understand it or appreciate it. I, I mean, I think you can sit there and listen to the stories, but you don't ever like, and this is not, I mean, like this is painful and I'm hoping that we'll get this fixed and some, you know, move on. But like, I mean, I have friends of mine that have had chronic back pain for 10 plus years, you know, 15, 20 years. Like, I can't even imagine. Like, I literally have wanted to do nothing today. And I've been sour and I've just been, I hurt. I'm just like, you know, and then I am so emotional on top of it. So, I push through the pain and I finally push myself to stand up and I go into the bathroom and everything, right? The dogs are, and I'm afraid I'm gonna fall over one of the dogs because they're running around my feet because they don't know what the hell's going on. And I'm like literally walking myself like this, you know, every, and this is what I have to do. So I'm standing at the bathroom counter, you know, and Alex has been like, you need to call your dad and get a referral for a doctor. You know, he knows back doctors, he knows specialists, spine specialists, you need to call your dad. You need to get some, you need to get into somebody, right? So I'm standing there and Alex had texted me and he was like, morning, babe. And I'm standing there at the counter and I'm crying and I can't move and I, I did realize though that like if I walk into this side, like I, I have to like walk into this side when I walk. I mean, it sounds stupid, but like that I can kind of walk a little bit better. Although I went into Walgreens tonight on my way back um, from like doing this review. Well, I did the review and then I had to go out for a second. And then when I was on my way back, I stopped at Walgreens to get, um, we don't have like an ice pad at home and I didn't think that we had a heating pad and everybody was telling me, get a heating pad, get an ice pad, get this TENS unit thing. So I went in there and I bought all of it, spent $80 on it just to find out from my, uh, to find out from the doctor and my sponsor who's a nurse just to use ice, not to use heating or this TENS unit until they find out what is going on because it might aggravate it worse. So, but I got no ice suggestions from people, right? So, I, I walk into Walgreens, I'm literally, like they were looking at me like I was a crazy person. I'm like holding on to each thing. And like Alex had said, do you need me to go get it? And I was like, no, I think I'm fine. Because see, I'm sitting in the car and I, I feel better, right? Like I feel like, hey, I can handle this. And then I get out and I'm thinking it's gonna be better. And I get out of my the car and I can't move. Like I can't walk, right? Oh, I was gonna say this was, I wasn't gonna vlog today. Cause I was like, I'm just not gonna vlog, but like, I don't want to miss any days unless I absolutely have to. Um, Cause I don't know when I'm going to have to miss a day. Like tomorrow may be 10 times worse than it was today. And if that's the case, then I won't be able to vlog tomorrow. So as long as I can vlog, I want to vlog, you know? Cause I love this channel so much and you guys are so kind and so supportive of, to me. So I'm standing at the bathroom counter. I don't know you guys how long I stood there. I mean to tell you probably a half an hour. I literally just stood there and looked in the mirror and looked down at the dogs and looked in the mirror. I mean, I couldn't move. Like I didn't know how to get into the bedroom or anything, right? So I texted Alex and I said, this is really bad, I need help. And he was like, do you need me to come home? And I said, no, I don't need you to come home. I said, but I've got to get into somebody. I said, I can't like, you know, um, it was interesting because I put it on Twitter and a couple people were like, and I know that they were just trying to help, but they were like, you know, like, you don't need a doctor, you need a chiropractor. Well, I'm gonna go to a doctor first and find out like a, a, a medical diagnosis before I start treating it. Like, that's important to me. You know, I, that's important to me with anything, you know, like, I always recommend, you know, like friends of mine that are like, oh, like I think I should get on like this or that or whatever. I'm like, oh, maybe you need to go get a psych eval first. Like psychiatrists know like, you know, psychotropic meds and stuff like that, you know, like, um, and I feel the same way about like any kind of like pain management. Like I want to go to a doctor first and like find out what's going on. But the other thing is as the son of a doctor, and I think I've, I've met a lot of kids of doctors, we're all kind of resistant to go to doctors. I don't know what that's about, you know? Like my dad's always like, you need to go see somebody or whatever, but like, I don't know. I just always would call my dad and my dad would say, oh, this or whatever. And like, and most of the time, like when I call my dad about stuff, he'll say, Peter, that's not my specialty. I'm not, I don't know what to tell you, you know? So, I texted Alex and Alex is like, do you need me to call your dad? And I said, no, I promise I'll call him as soon as I get downstairs. Cause I had to take the dogs outside cause they hadn't been outside. And I was like, and he was like, again, do you want me to go? Do you mean come home? And I was like, no, but if you could come home a little bit earlier to help me do some stuff. He had a, um, 
this dinner that he was going to tonight with Sarah, and um, and he was like, do you want me to cancel my dinner tonight? And I was like, no. In all honesty, I was like, I'm gonna get into bed, and I'm gonna put this ice pack on, and I'm gonna watch a movie and fall asleep, and I don't, I just wanna be alone. Like, I could start crying, you guys. Like, it has just been such a bad day. And it's not just about the pain, it's like, So anyway, I got downstairs and um, I was fine to get downstairs, but I didn't know if I'd be able to get back upstairs. So I'm trying to like think of like everything that I need as I'm like going down the stairs into the kitchen and then I let the dogs out. And I'm like, I looked at the dogs like before, like I know this sounds so silly, but I looked at them and I was like, please you guys be good boys please do not run away today because I was afraid they were going to like run out in the grass into the street like they do and I was like I can't chase after them today I can't do that I don't know what to do you know so and this is where like Alex is like you never let anybody help you <laughs> he was like I could have come home and done all of this stuff I don't know why you didn't just have me come home and I'm like because I want to take care of everything you know because I never think it's that bad. I always think it's gonna get better, it's gonna get better. And I thought, like, you know, I'll get up, I'll get downstairs, it won't be bad. But like, I think I realized when I got downstairs how bad it was. And, um, um, so I got the dogs, I got took them outside and did all that. And then I came inside and they're like barking every step I make. And so I like, I went outside and I called my dad and I just lost it. I just started sobbing. He was like, Pete, what is going on? And I sit down, I'm in so much pain. I don't know what to do. I said, I've never experienced pain like this before. And he was like, well, we've got to get you into somebody. And I was like, okay. He's like, but we're not gonna be able to get you into somebody that quick. And he was like, you know, the way that, you know, with COVID and like getting into doctor's appointments is really, he goes, but let me see if there's somebody that I can get a hold of that maybe can get you in early, like, you know, before their office hours start. So he called a friend of his and he actually got me in like 8 a.m. on Monday morning. And um, I talked to the nurse. Everybody seems to think it's sciatica. My dad said it sounded like that. The nurse at the office, who was really nice. She's like, I've known your dad for 30 years and she was so nice and she was like yeah that's what it sounds like but I don't like you have to see the doctor and we may have to do x-rays and she sent me like <laughs> seven pages of paperwork I have to fill out before Monday and so I feel better that I have a doctor's appointment but like you know everybody's like take a leave take Advil and like nothing works and so well, then I was like, I sat down because I had to like figure all this, like, I was just doing like business stuff around the house. So I was like sitting down at the computer and I thought if I sit down at the computer, like, I don't even know how painful it's going to be. And I don't know if I'll ever be able to get up. I literally sat at this straight chair that I sit, this white straight chair that I sit on to like at my computer. And I mean to tell you, like the pain went away. I don't know what it was, but like, I was so comfortable sitting in that chair. It was the weirdest thing. And then I sat there. I don't know if it's because that's how I sit. I don't even know how to explain it, you guys. It almost kind of feels like bone rubbing against bone. It's so painful. So, I sat there and I was doing stuff and then I was like, I have to go make this collab video because I, it was like, at that point it was like four o'clock and I had promised them it would be up at five and I was gonna message them and be like, can we just do this next week? But I thought they probably already have it scheduled and ready to go, the thumbnail made. And I thought, I'm not doing this to them. Like the, they were so nice to reach out to me and ask me anyway. I know they would have said, no problem, we'll do it next week. But I was like, I'm not gonna do this to them. And I was so excited about it. So look at these geese crossing the road and these cars can't like get around them. So anyway, I was like, so I was like, I've got to get to Starbucks and do this review. Well, I got in my car. And as soon as I got in my car and I sat down, I started feeling a little bit better, you know? So then Alex was getting off work and he was like, what do you need me to do? And I said, I just like need you to help me get home and get settled and stuff with the dogs, feed the dogs, like, you know, all this kind of stuff. So he helped me a lot at home tonight. 
before he left. You know, but of course I see Alex and I start crying. And I'm just a mess because on top of all of this, like one of my biggest fears for 20 years has been chronic back pain because I've lost so many friends of mine that have been sober that have like gone back out because they've had to like have like medical management on pain management. Like I was talking to my sponsor and I was like, I'm not, I will not take, get hooked on drugs. I will not take pills. But I was telling her, I said, you know, like I was such a pill head back in the day. Like I took Vicodin all the time. I drank on Vicodin. I loved Vicodin. I said, I'm terrified. Like, I'm terrified to take any, like, kind of pain management medication, you know? And she's like, well, there's a lot of good, like, non-narcotic drugs out there. I was like, okay, but anything habit for me, like, I can get addicted to like that. And I'm, like, bawling my eyes out, you know, on the phone talking to her. I'm like, I'm so scared. And she's like, Peter, there are a lot of options. And she's like, you know, they don't tell us. They tell us, you know, they don't say that we can't take things in sobriety. They just, you know, like if you have to take something, you just have Alex hold on to it. Or, you know, you take it for a limited period of time. Or they give you a small, like, dosage, you know. She's like, but if that's what you have to do to get you through this, I said, I'm terrified, you know. Like, if that's what they tell me on Monday, like, I'm scared to death. And she was telling me about a friend of hers that is like my age and had the same thing happen and he had to be on these like meds for like a week and it started really helping and she said it's the non-narcotic and yes it made him feel drowsy but <clears throat> she was like I don't know like I, I just you know like I talk about my sobriety I talk about my addiction and stuff like that but I also am very very aware that it can be lost that quickly and that scares me you know and um, I've seen friends of mine excuse it away and I love them dearly, and I know it's really horrible pain, but I've seen them excuse it away. And then they can't get off of it, and then they're like in and out of detoxes, you know? It's just like, I don't want that, I don't want that. I would, I would live with the pain before I did that. And then she's like, you know, you're borrowing all this trouble, and she's like, you know, why are you letting yourself like get so bent out of shape about this? She's like, Peter, let's focus on the pain and what you can do about the pain today, you know? And. It's just very, very scary to me. And, um, I talk about the drinking and I talk about the other stuff, but I very rarely talk about my addiction to pills, of which was probably one of my favorites. Um, I loved popping a pill, eating a pill, and just feeling different. I loved it. I loved everything about it, you know? Um, and not, I mean, I'm not talking about pain. I'm talking about that feeling of just that, that ooziness that comes over you. I loved feeling that way. I loved feeling out of control. You know, I loved feeling drunk, but not having to drink. I'm terrified of that. You know, like I'm so scared of that. She was so helpful to me. Tanya was so helpful to me on the phone today, you know, because Tanya's had a lot of like really bad, like back pain. And um, so we talked. Alex has been so fantastic. Sarah came over and brought me pasta salad and LaCroix tonight. <laughs> she brought me like peach and mango or pear and mango uh, LaCroix plus some pasta salad. And Alex has just been such a wonderful husband through all of this and it's just it's a lot you know it's like so I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna I want to like take a shower and just feel really clean but I'm so I'm gonna have to like set all the bottles up on the shelf so I don't have to bend over and then I want to take a shower and just put on some clean pajamas and just get into bed and put on a movie and just fall asleep is what I want to do. Like, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I think I'll probably fall asleep that quick. I'm just really tired. I hope I feel better tomorrow because I just don't even like going a day without making... I love making videos. You know, I mean, I made my vlog from yesterday and then... I also did my review video today. Um, I think if I had gotten in the chair and just filmed like 
my Peter, oh, I have a review video already to go for tomorrow. I think if I could get in that chair and just sit down, ow, oh, damn it. Alex works tomorrow. He told me he'd take the day off if, he, if I wanted him to, but I'm like, you don't need to do that. Um, I said, but maybe we'll wait and see what happens in the morning, how I feel. I just wanted to do all this stuff this weekend, you know? Like, I wanted to, like, get new flowers for my patio. It's just stupid. I mean, it's, like, the inconvenience, you know, but... I have all these text messages. I'm also really afraid that it's something very, very serious. I've never had surgery where I've had to go under for anything. And then you would think that like having a, a dad that's a doctor that like, like I wouldn't be scared of that, but like I'm terrified of it. You know? I don't know. I was gonna go over here and see if she was over here with that dog. She was in the parking lot of that place. I think it's just a lot of the fear of the unknown, you know? We talk about in recovery, 100 forms of fear. You know, that our disease is rooted in 100 forms of fear. And I think it's a lot of that, like my fear of the unknown, of what's gonna happen, you know? Not to mention, I don't know the last time I was up and at some place <laughs> on purpose at 8 a.m. ever in my life, <laughs> so. But that's no excuse. I'll go to bed early on Sunday night and get my butt up to go on Monday morning, because I have to. Alex is like, do you want me to take off Monday so you can, I can take you to, the, I said, babe, I cannot be having you take off three days, you know, leaving, I mean, you have to work, like, I'll figure it out. If I have to have somebody take me, like Tanya or Sarah can take me and, but like I said, it's like fine when I get into, I, I mean, I, when I was at Walgreens, you guys, I, I had to sit down in the pharmacy because I was looking for all this stuff that people had told me to get. So I'm like looking everywhere for it, right? And I like got in the aisle and the pain was so bad from standing that I went to like, I was in the pharmacy kind of area anyway. It was like the rose buried before it. To stand and to walk hurt so bad that, and I'm like literally like this across the aisles. Like this is how I'm moving, right? That had to sit down in the pharmacy, like in that chair. And then I moved, I stood up, and um, I almost got a cane because I was like, I don't, like, maybe that would help me to lean on it, you know, like if I walked that way. I don't see this girl's car here. I don't know if she just took it in and dropped it off, maybe. Huh. Is that her? That's her. No. Why would she park this far away? <laughs> Everybody's sitting in their car. Oh, this is the same thing. Oh, I bet you can't bring the dog in without an appointment. Everybody's, that's why everybody's in their car. Like when we took the dog to the vet, you can't go inside. I bet that's what happened. Shoot, I wonder what she did. What does it say here? Please remain in your car, call us. Okay. So that's what she would have to do. I don't, I don't. 
I didn't even know that it had stopped. Uh, I was talking about Alex going to this dinner and he said that he was gonna come home early. Um, I'm like, I'm gonna s snuggle with the dogs and get cozy. I may have to skip the shower and just get into bed. It sounded nice earlier. I was like, I'm gonna take a nice shower, you know, and lotion up with my new stuff that I got at Sephora and use that shampoo and smell so fresh and clean and put on some cotton pajamas and get into bed with a good scary movie with the pups all around me, but I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that. We'll see. I'm starting to get hungry too. Oh man. So that was my day. I know it's kind of a downer of a video, you guys, and a downer of a vlog. Um, I'm sorry to be so down, but I wanted to come on here and film something. I, you know, I, I don't know that, I mean, I have no idea how I'm gonna feel tomorrow. I can, it could be a lot worse, and I'm afraid that it's gonna be a lot worse, and then I won't be able to make any videos, or, you know, vlog, or do anything, so. I wanted to do this tonight so that I actually got something up um, this weekend. If I don't post tomorrow, that will be the reason why. Um, I know not all of you are on Twitter or whatever, so just so, so you know, if you don't see a video up, well, I guess it would be on Sunday, a vlog, that's why. But I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to do my best. I'm hoping I wake up tomorrow and I feel 100% better, you know? <sighs> hoping and praying. I guess that's all you can do, right? Make sure that you get in to see somebody. All these geese everywhere. Well, all right, you guys, listen, I'm gonna get off here now um, and go home and relax. I've gotta listen, I don't know when I'm gonna listen to my audiobook because I've got the live stream on Sunday um, for it. I, you know what, I didn't even think about that. I'm gonna have to call Mel and see if we can maybe move it to the following week because I just don't know that I'm gonna be able to do it this Sunday. I don't want to say, this is the thing, I have no idea how I'm going to feel, so I don't want to say that I'm going to do it and then not do it, you know what I mean? Because she can't do it without me, because I'm the one that has to sign on to the you now thing. Oh, shoot. Well, I need to call her and figure out what to do. Um, anyway, I'm going to get off here now, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, if you liked this vlog, please give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> cheer me up. Say something funny in the comment sections that will cheer me up. And um, if nobody else has told you this today, I love you. Have an amazing Saturday. And um, I'll be thinking of you. And I'm going to do my best to be on here and vlog tomorrow, even if I have to do so from bed. It's just, the thing is, it's more comfortable for me to, to be in the car. Um, and I didn't want to sit at the computer screen for a half an hour and vlog. Um, I just didn't want to sit there and just like stare at a camera. It's easier for me to drive around, you know? So anyway, um, all right, I'm going to get off here now and I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Love ya.